Hi, I'm Steve Dalton. I'm Program Director of Daytime Career Services with the Career Management Center, and I'm here today to tell you everything you need to know about thank you notes. We're going to cover three main topics today. First, why are thank you notes so important? Second, what information do you need to write a good thank you note? And third, how do you write that thank you note itself? First question, why are thank you notes so important? Well, two reasons. First, they act as an electronic receipt that an interaction with a recruiter actually happened. Without that receipt, it's very unlikely the recruiters will remember meeting you, which makes it very difficult to get put on an interview list when it comes to interview time. Second, they help you remember who you spoke to. So when it's time to write cover letters and cite advocates that you have at the organizations you're meeting with, it's much easier to check your sent thank you email folder to remember who you spoke to and who your favorite people were that you want to direct attention to. The second question we'll address is, what information do I need to write a good thank you note and where do I find it? We need two main pieces of information. You need contact information and you need something to write about. Now contact information, what you need are the person's name and their email address. Those will be easy to find in our GTS system within one business day after the event. So don't worry about collecting business cards at the event itself. That information will be provided to you. The second piece of information is a little bit trickier. What is the best piece of insight or advice that they give you during your interaction with them at the recruiting event? It's much easier to capture this information now than it is to remember it later. So my recommendation is, after you disengage with a recruiter at an event, step outside for a moment to take notes on what you spoke about, specifically what the best piece of advice or insight they gave you was. That will make writing your thank you note much, much easier later. An interesting aside, you don't actually need to be the person who asked the question that garnered that piece of advice or insight. You simply need to have been there to hear it. So if you're not comfortable asking questions, don't force yourself to do so. Just be an extra good listener. Third question, how do I write the thank you note itself? Well, each thank you note has three pieces of information. First, you want to thank them for their time. Second, you want to highlight that piece of advice or insight that they gave you, which we mentioned earlier. And third, you want to maintain control of the follow-up. So thanking them for their time is very straightforward. Thank you for your time. Second, highlight that piece of insight. For example, they may have recommended that you start reading Ad Age or Brand Week to learn more about how marketers speak. Capture that specifically in your thank you note. The third piece of information is to maintain control of the follow-up. And by that, I mean you want the next steps to be yours and not theirs. If you feel you've had all your questions answered for now, simply say, thank you very much. Is it OK if I follow back up with you with any additional questions I might have? However, if you have additional questions that you'd like to get answered, close this way. Say, I still have a few additional questions. Would you have a few minutes to speak by phone to help me answer those? Either way is acceptable. Just make sure you don't request an additional conversation if you don't genuinely have additional questions to cover. So to wrap up, now you know why thank you notes are important, what information you need to get to write a good thank you note, and how to write the thank you note itself. Those three things together will allow you to crank out the dozens of thank you notes you'll need to in a week in an efficient and effective manner. Thank you for listening.